pleasant good morning to you. God is so good. Uh, we out again today. Uh, the brook dried up. Uh, 1 Kings chapter 19 and verse 7 says, And it came to pass after a while that the brook dried up because there had been no rain in the land. This is talking about Elijah. And God sent Elijah uh, to the brook Cherit. And ravens fed him there. Imagine, imagine bored bringing food for you, boy. Elijah was really fortunate, you know. Imagine bored bringing food for you. The board not eating the food. Uh, Elijah is, an, is, is a recipient of several miracles. In this case, boards are feeding him and he's getting to drink water from the brook cherry. It is God's idea for Elijah to hide at the brook cherry and drink water there. Not Elijah's idea, this is God's idea. Uh, now, this is what baffles me. Why can God continue to work the miracle for the brook to continue giving water? That's my problem. After all, this is God star batsman who can bring about, who has brought about a reformation in Israel after the Mount Carmel experience. So why, why I am asking why, why God didn't just continue letting the brook flow? How could the brook dry up now? If uh, now is is famine time, and it is a time when uh, the earth is parched. Uh, now, if you did not know all the facts about Elijah, somebody may conclude may have concluded that is something God has against uh, Elijah that caused the water to stop flowing in the brook cherry. But here are my further thoughts. Even though you are very involved in doing God's work, the miracles do not work all the time in your favor. Remember that. Uh, then God can get you out of a situation by using a certain method. But that does not mean, that does not mean that he will use the same method all the time. You cannot always trace how God works. We do not know all the variables that are working around us. Hence, that's the reason why we do not always understand why God does something now and then stops it. Good. Uh, then, whenever you are the recipient of a favor from God, a miracle from God. Stop. Tell God thanks for the miracle. No matter what is happening. However, when the miracle stops, and this is the mature part, mature Christians, when the miracle stops, still continue to serve and trust God because your connection with God is more important than the miracle that God has worked on your behalf. Our God and Father, thank you so much for your goodness towards us. Help somebody not to stop serving you because a miracle that you worked in their life has stopped, like the brook cherry, the water stopped flowing. Help us to trust you more and to connect with you so that our faith can be strengthened in spite of what happens in the future. In Jesus' name I thank you. Amen. And amen. May God richly bless you. There is a place of quiet rest near to the heart of God. Redeemer, set from 